Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll be discussing tips for replacing the camshaft position sensors on this 2021 Nissan Sentra. If you find my tips to be helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment. Now let's get started. There are two camshaft position sensors on this inline four cylinder engine. You can tell it's an inline four engine because your spark plugs and coils are lined up right down the center of the top of the engine. One, two, three, four. One camshaft sensor is located right here, and this is the intake sensor. And how you know that is because the intake manifold is located on this side of the engine closest to that sensor. Right here, you have the exhaust camshaft sensor. And how you know that is because you have the exhaust manifold located on this side of the engine closest to the firewall and you have an O2 sensor located on the exhaust manifold. So exhaust sensor right here and there's a 10 millimeter bolt and then you have the intake sensor and there's a 10 millimeter bolt. Some of the symptoms associated with a faulty sensor include rough idle, misfire. If these sensors aren't able to pick up the signals from the camshaft, there's gonna be misfiring with the spark plugs. And you might think that the spark plugs are faulty when actually it's the camshaft sensors that are throwing the code. Some of the other symptoms might be stalling, the engine might just shut off. Check engine light with trouble codes P0300 and P0304. P0304 is also associated with faulty spark plugs, okay? But there's a difference here. And so pay close attention to what I'm gonna tell you. If your car is having the symptoms that I just described, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and check the condition of the engine oil. Because if the engine oil is extremely dirty, it's very likely that the dirty oil has coated the sensor and so the sensor can no longer accurately detect the signals and provide those signals back to the engine's computer, okay? So that's a troubleshooting step I'd like you to do before you change the sensor and before you change your spark plugs. Check the condition of your oil. So let's talk about our supply list. Our supply list includes a 10 millimeter socket, with the ratchet, I have a, an extension here and a camshaft position sensor if needed. Please see other items in the description below. And I highly recommend that you replace camshaft sensors in pairs, okay? Because if one has gone bad, it's likely that another will go bad. And so let's talk about that for a minute. So how do these sensors go bad? Well, they're actually very reliable. However, because of their design, there's a magnet in the sensor that will over time become less magnetic, less strong, and it will become more and more difficult for that sensor to pick up the signals because this is a high heat environment, right? And so over time, a magnet in a very high heat environment will slowly start to degrade. So there's nothing wrong with the sensor, there's nothing wrong with the vehicle, it's just where the technology is today. All right? For this demonstration, I'm going to remove the intake sensor, but once again, the exhaust sensor is located right here and you can easily tell that that's the sensor because there's a 10 millimeter bolt, okay? So unscrewing the 10 millimeter bolt right here. Okay, so I've used my extension. I've loosened it up before, obviously. Now I'm going to remove the electrical connection, okay? Now here's a pro tip for you. You notice I'm leaving my extension and my socket in place because I'm going to lift up on that sensor while 
pushing down on the sensor and the bolt so that the bolt doesn't fall out, okay? Because it's very hard to reach in there. All right, success. And there you have it. There's your camshaft position sensor. It's look, it looks in really good shape. There's nothing wrong with it. It wasn't throwing a coat. And I want to bring something to your attention that the condition of the engine oil is very good because you can clearly see the sensor. If the engine oil was extremely dirty, there would be a dark brown to reddish coating on this sensor. And that could be enough so that the signals would not be transmitted back to the computer. So that's just, once again, reinforcing what I just mentioned earlier. I'm looking at the O-ring. I'm gonna use my thumbnail, press it on that O-ring. Is it pliable? Yes, it's pliable. If you pressed in on that O-ring and it was brittle or it fell off or just rock hard, you could replace the O-ring without replacing the entire sensor. And so they sell O-rings at your local parts store or online. You can simply replace that, you know, three cent part or maybe five cent part rather than replacing this entire sensor. So that's something else you might want to consider. All the electrical prongs are nice and straight in there. Also, you want to note that you see there's a light coat of oil below the O-ring here and there's absolutely no oil above the O-ring. That tells you that the O-ring is doing its job. You don't want oil blowing by and leaking down and onto the engine. And if you look in this area here, you'll see that there's no oil leaks. This is really dry here. And that's exactly how it should be. I'm looking for a part number here. I will leave a link to the part in the description below. And with that, let's just go ahead and get this sensor reinstalled. So because that location is very hard to reach, I'm going to insert this screw right now. I'm gonna lock it in place like that. And then I'm going to slowly move the sensor into place. Okay, and there you go. Now that it's snug, I tug on it a little bit. I know that screw's not gonna fall off. Now I can come back in and tighten it down. And it only needs to be snug. There you go. Okay, let's go ahead and make that electrical connection. So first thing I'm going to do, as always, I'm going to look inside the connector and make sure that the rubber gasket is not deformed. It isn't. And so I'm going to slide it into place and listen for the click. And there you have it. Well, folks, that wraps up the removal, replacement, and troubleshooting of the camshaft position sensor on this 2021 Nissan Sentra. I hope you found my tips to be helpful. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, drive defensively.